everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. A lot of questions have been asked of me lately about the ongoing activity at Campi Fuguri there in Italy. And I thought I would start out with an image of its magma chamber. Um, we got two sources. Uh, you can see here at the bottom and at the top. With the bottom M2 chamber listed at about 8 kilometers below sea level. Here's another image of Solfe Terra crater. That's where most of the earthquakes have been happening lately. They recently raised the alert level from green to yellow and there has been an increase in CO2 gases. I haven't been able to find out um, any of the other gases such as sulfur dioxide, hydrogen, things like that. The Campi Fagri Volcano Complex is located west of Naples, southern Italy. It results from the subduction of the African plate underneath the European lithosphere. The caldera formed after two major caldera collapses. Following the last major collapse, more than 60 eruptions occurred within the caldera. And those eruptions occurred within the caldera, which presently consist of about 13 kilometers or 8 miles in diameter, a partially submerged depression. The most recent eruption, including the Solfaterra crater, were active between 4.8 and 3.8 thousand years ago, while the last actual eruption happened at about 1538 AD, which formed the Monte Novo Cone. The center section of the caldera has undergone regular uplift and downlift, which consists of alternating phases of fast ground uplift and slow subsidence. Uplift episodes are accompanied by volcano tectonic seismicity and seismic swarms as less frequent long period earthquakes. I've shown those going on at Yellowstone also. So going to Google Earth, I mapped out the majority of the earthquakes. Let me bring this out. And this is where they've been happening along probably a fault line through here. Uh, the largest, I believe, was a magnitude 4.0. And that occurred on October 2nd. The deeper earthquakes have been out here along probably the outside rim of the caldera. We got a 2.2, and that was four days ago. Um, it was five kilometers in depth. A 1.3, that was three kilometers in depth. Let's see, this one here at 2.1, that was four kilometers in depth. I also have a web page. I'll give the link to you down below in the more information bar if you can see that on your uh, um, laptop or tablet, whatever. So here is a list of the most recent earthquake. For the fourth, we only got two, a 2.6 and a 1.7, and the depth is three to two kilometers. On the third, there was one, two, three earthquakes. Some of them were very close to the surface, um, zero kilometers or one kilometers, very shallow. And then we'll come down. Um, let's see. Largest looks like a magnitude 4.0. That was three kilometers in depth. And we'll come down here. This goes all the way to, let's see, this page to the 29th. Okay, from the 28th onward. Yeah, you can see how shallow these are. One kilometer in depth. Many of them. Um, the 4.2, which occurred um, on the 27th of last month. Now, that was only 3 kilometers in depth. So, I'm going to zoom in. Most of them have been around this area of the volcano. I do have one monitor that I was able to find that I could download data from, but it is quite a ways from this location. Let me bring it out. Yeah, it's a long ways. 
down over here to the southeast. It's 104 miles from there, so I don't know how dependable um, this monitor would be. So I downloaded data. I, like I said, I don't know how dependable it would be. This is um, a slow moving long period earthquake. It was at 1247 universal time. And there's the spectrogram for that. I don't see it listed here, so it very well could have been somewhere else. This is one of the more recent ones that show up for the data that I downloaded. Yeah, you can see we got harmonic tremors here. And yeah, um, plate movement because it's got the sharpened points. And then we got another one here. Same thing. Um, my last report that I did at least a good month ago, I talked about how the ground, um, because of the uplift, is getting so brittle. Um, it's not flexible. So, yeah, smaller earthquakes could happen. Um, yeah, and you could have an eruption with no warning whatsoever at all. This here is what it was showing when I pulled the files just a little while ago. Um, we got between, well, it shows uh, 1 hertz to 10 hertz. And let's go to the spectrogram. Yeah, and I'll pull it over a little bit better so you can see it better. Like I said, this is a 105 miles or so away from um, the volcano itself. So I don't know. We got some thickening of the lines. Yeah, you guys should recognize that. Yeah, that is melt. That is melt. The line of melt. Yeah, see that? So that went on for almost an hour. And then this, let me go to the seismic signature. Yeah, it's really hard to tell here what's going on. I'll go back to this larger earthquake and we'll pull that. See, this is all um, fault movement, plate movement, or tectonic movement. There is some smaller ones up here. Uh, okay, let me, oops, I'm just going to bring it down to this one here. Okay. Yeah, we got gases, heated water. Another small quake there. And then right there, we got thickening of the lines again. Yeah, see the line of melt? Let me go back to Google Earth. Right there. Okay, that's a long ways away. So it's not going to be very dependable. I know they got monitors there. I just haven't been able to find one that I can download the data from. So here's another paper, uh, Campy Flagre, and it shows here that it's, yeah, been elevated to yellow, and then the different earthquakes, and then over here, I'm going to have to make this bigger for you. It shows you the list and how the earthquakes have increased. Now this only goes until um, the beginning of September which was uh, 1,118 earthquakes. I don't know why this has not been updated. But from June until September, look at the jump in earthquakes. 206 to 1,118. And I believe, let me bring this down, this might be uplift. I'm pretty sure it is. It's deformation. And then this is for fluids. Okay, and and again, this is not updated either. Now it says here from August of this year, and this is all they have. In fact, this is from the um, INGV website, and you can see it there. And they got the different volcanoes on here. And then on this other page, they got showing the seismic um, signals. Um, when I went to that a minute ago, it was not working. And I believe it's at the bottom. Um, they put
put up a notice or was it at the top? Anyways, um, they know that it's not working. I don't know. Maybe it's like the United States where they just don't want to put out information. Um, don't want to create a panic. I don't know. All right. So let me pull this up so you can see what I'm, so you can see what I'm doing here. They got different times. Okay. Um, much like when I did, um, La Palma. Okay. And we got, um, today's date. And we'll click on that and it's supposed to show you the earthquakes. Not a very good page. Um, but here you can see a line. Um, something going on there. It almost looks like screaming, but I can't be certain because I can't see the data. And I can't find the web page for this um, monitor. Okay, so this is the next one which is between four and eight hours. And then this one here, you can see this is a long moving tremor. That's definitely a long moving tremor. And more than likely right there, a long moving tremor. Let me move this up. Okay, between 12 and 1600 hours. Yeah, I don't really see anything in there. No quakes. And then... Um, yeah, 16 to 20. Yeah, it looks like another long moving earthquake there. And let's see, between 20 and 24. Now for the day before, um, no, that's, yeah, the day before. Okay, nothing there. All right. Now, supposedly, from an article I was reading, there is a strong odor of sulfur um, within this location. If any of you that live there are watching my videos, I'd like to know if you're um, getting sick from the um, gases that are coming up, uh, feeling dizzy or lightheaded. Have you heard of any of your neighbors or friends actually passing out? That would often be a sign um, of a coming eruption when people start feeling the effects of gases. I would really like to know about that because much information is being censored. Like I said, um, yeah, they don't want people to panic. A lot of people probably have bug out kits. But if you have an eruption, a violent eruption, that ain't going to do you any good because you can not outrun a pyroclastic flow. But if it makes you sleep better, knowing you got a bug out kit, um, so be it. I do have an image here showing um, tempera fallout. This is ash, how it was distributed uh, from the volcano at um, Venusus. I know I'm pronouncing him wrong. Sorry. It does not show pyroclastic flow. Here on ResearchGate, we have an image of um, the area that could expect a pyroclastic flow. It would not be like Mount St. Helens where the side of the mountain blew out. It would just go in all directions. There you can see at the bottom. And another article from ResearchGate, um, this one showing, yeah, the dangers. Let me bring this down. Areas, um, probability of vent openings, which would be these uh, checkered areas. The red and the orangish color would be uh, for pyroclastic flows and wind currents. And then we got um, fallout, the ash. Um, like I said, you don't need a large earthquake for an eruption. And the uh, magma, because of the depth of the earthquake, yeah, it could happen at any time. You just don't know. So unless I can find actual real-time data for the gases, I can't tell you. If I did have that, I could probably tell you within two weeks uh, when a volcano 
um, would be erupting. But I can't do that right now. Um, I learned about that from um, La Palma before its eruption. And that's when Spain allowed online, you could view the actual data as it came in, um, minute by minute, second by second. Yeah, any of these um, previous craters or cones could erupt. But it looks like, looking at the map, it's down here in this area. Yeah, where most of the earthquakes have been occurring. Yeah, a few in this area. Um, yeah, they, they built right on top of <laughs> one of the cones. Yeah, what a good place to put a, is that a school, a university? You can see the uh, sports field there, and you can see it's right on top of a cone. Yeah, people are dumb. Anyways, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below if you have any questions. I'll try to answer as well as I can. Um, please stay safe. Always be prepared. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.